everyone, it's Melody with Design My Melody. I am here doing my last final layout for the Wild Hair Kits. Now this is my eighth layout that I have made with this kit and I do have supplies left which you will see in my Killer Kit video but I believe this is the very last one that I'll be doing with this kit because this is my last 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I'm just kind of running out of things. So I'm going to go ahead and use this last 12 by 12 sheet of paper to create a title page for my 2017 album. Now um, I love doing title pages and this paper was kind of a, um, a challenge for me. I wasn't exactly sure how to use it. I thought it was very beautiful, but it's very different than what I have normally worked with. So I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to put it together um, or how I wanted to use it with this kit. I just felt like it was a little bit different than the rest of ki the kit, though it was very beautiful and you'll see I'll be able to make a, a beautiful page with it. It was just different, I felt, than some of the papers that came in the kit. So I had struggled using it um, kind of intermixed. Um, so I think making a layout on its own with this single paper is just perfect for how to use it. Now those red hearts are all glittered and the camera has a little bit of a difficult time so if it kind of goes in and out of focus a little bit just forgive that because that's just taking on the shine of the um, glittered hearts. So because I'm at the end of this kit I have a lot of scraps and not a whole lot of like papers and things left to work with. So I'm just kind of going through the pile of things that I have here to see what I can use. I do have a good amount of these die cuts left though so I'm going to use a couple of them on this layout. I first pulled out. I had not already pulled this out as a project to work on. I didn't know that I was going to be using it for this particular kit, but I had pulled out that Ellie's Studio 2017 acrylic piece that I had purchased, and I knew I was going to use it for my 2017 title um, page. I just wasn't sure that it was going to be this kit. Well, it just happened to be that it did. It was this kit. I had a um, this paper to use, and I had the idea to do a title page, um, and then I have kept this little acrylic piece, and I have a 2016 one as well, which will be for the 2016 title page when I get around to it sitting kind of on the tops of my shelves. So I saw it sitting there the other day and I thought, you know what, let me just go ahead and use that heart paper and create a um, title page because the heart paper can then be highlighted and I can embellish it instead of using it on other pages as embellishments, which is what I was struggling with. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. <laughs> so um, just like how I did my 2018 title page, and this is fairly new, I have not always done this, I'm doing a bit of journaling, and this is what the journaling says. It, um, you're going to kind of see me play around with this journaling a bit, but what it says is this year starts full of excitement with a new house, with a house on the horizon and lots of roads, fun roads ahead for our little family. Now this was 2017 and this is the year that we built our house. Now we are in our house now in 2018, but in 2017 in January is when we actually decided to go ahead and purchase. And so that was really kind of where I was at at the time that I, that this album starts. So this is really fitting journaling for this particular time. I have my little pile of scraps here on the left and on the little pile of that you see on the right is my trash pile and that's kind of how I scrapbook. Unofficially that's how I scrapbook. I don't I don't set that up in my head. That just typically ends up being how I work. I usually have my supplies on the left. I don't know why but I just usually do and then kind of as I cut things off I just put them on the right side and that's my trash pile. I, I really don't know how I developed this system but it's kind of how I've been scrapbooking all along. I used to kind of keep other um, tools and things to the right side so I never have really piled my supplies up on that side which is probably why I do this but it's just kind of funny because as I watch my videos I see that I do that but when I'm actually in the process of doing it I don't think about that. So I've got my journaling down I've got some little border strips down here at the bottom and those are just pieces that were cut off um, from other layouts and then I'm going through the rest of the things that are in this um, this kit. I've got lots of little scraps of paper as you're seeing so I'm just kind of flipping around seeing if anything looks looks useful to me. And I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I like that um, bright pink paper with the months of the year on it. And it does go January through December and repeats over and over again. And it's the back of that list paper. But I don't have a very big piece of this list paper left. So I'm going to do something and do some paper piecing here in a moment um, to have a full strip of the months. Also cutting out this little camera from one of the cut apart uh, pieces um, one of the three by four cut aparts that were um, on the back side of one of those papers and this is where I'm trying to decide which list 
twist I want to keep and which one I could cut apart. So and I'm just doing it with my scissors because it's fairly, the printing is um, fairly close so it's easy to keep it straight. And I'm just kind of cutting this apart and I'm getting a full set of the months. I just wanted to make sure that it was um, squared and didn't have the angled corners since it's printed um, at an angle on the back of this piece of paper. So that's what I'm doing and I wanted to get it centered so because it's going to go across these two cards. So I'm just going to cut between June and July and then piece it together on my um, paper here to make it a full um, year basically January through December there you go I thought that was very interesting I thought it was something different um, and it also really kind of highlights the pink it's another tone of pink but it highlights the pink that's in this um, in this background paper now I'm using the back side a few of these die cuts I didn't really like the other side I didn't feel like they fit with this layout so I just flipped that tab over as well as this sunburst kind of die cut, uh, flipped it over and I'm just using the back side so that it's white and I'm just I'm using these recollection alphas to put a new year and I'm going to um, layer that between these two right cards here. Now this is fairly simple as I said so I'm actually almost done. I'm going to go through my scraps again here in just a moment and pull out a little um, label that I had uh, stamped and I'm going to layer it down there by the 2017 and I am going to actually put something on that tab. That tab looked blank to me so I'm going to use my Ellie Studio little tile alphas that I used in my last layout and actually put 2017 up there and I'm just going to use the gray ones and it didn't need 2017 again on there but I figured it's a small label I can put the date on here twice it is the title page and it's um, two different varied styles of putting the date but that's actually going to finish out this layout again very simple but I thought it was a great way to use this glittered paper that I had left in the kit as well as how to use up some of those little scraps that I had sitting around as well I hope you guys enjoyed thank you